Dozens of people gathered at Minnesota State Capitol today to protest the presidential election results. USA! 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 Here's a look at the Stop the Steal rally. You can see lots of American flags there and Trump 2020 flags. This group believes the 2020 election was rigged and unfair and thinks a second term was stolen from President Donald Trump. However, there's no proof of widespread election fraud. People at this rally said despite what happened at the U.S. Capitol this week, they are part of the party of law and order. What went on at the U.S. Capitol, there was a lot of instigators that were there. And unfortunately, some patriots got caught up in it caught up in the excitement. Um, a lot of them were lured or, or fooled into thinking they were participating in something that was positive. Unfortunately, this has been used as a negative against all of us and against the country, and it's sad. Minnesota's Public Safety Commissioner John Harrington says extra steps were taken to ensure state capital safety at the rally today. Protesters also made their voices heard in downtown Minneapolis. This group says they're protesting police brutality. This was organized by Black Lives Matter Minnesota and several other groups. It comes after prosecutors decided not to press charges against the officer who shot Jacob Blake in Kenosha, Wisconsin last year. The group marched from the Hennepin County Government Center to the MPD precinct downtown. We are demanding a transformative change. We're not asking for one policy change. We're not asking for one officer to be removed. We're asking for this damn system to be held accountable for the injustice that they have caused for far too long in this, in this country and in this city. This group was also rallying for Dalal Eid, who was recently shot and killed by Minneapolis police officers during a traffic stop. MPD officials say he fired at officers first.